Hello, fellow citizens of Byzantium, and welcome to the Frontiers. We are fighting war against Mamluks. They're about to get squashed into tiny little bits. We are destroying them. Obviously, their weakest will join their war. Golden Horde will join, whatever. Liturgical reform. Yeah, yeah. Some reforms. We've seen that event a hundred thousand times. And um, I'm not really bothered by it. Or interested in it. Fable state state want wants access. Okay. You can have it. Mm-hmm. You can invest in a new idea. One of these. Hmm. How about technology instead? Oh yeah, it will cost too much. Okay. Let's get one of these then. Let's get um Even more modifier? Hmm. Tempting. Really tempting. Nah, let's just focus on quality. We might even be able to get plus 15% disciple. That would be fucking amazing. What's our military advisor at the moment? Plus two? Can we get a plus three? No. Well, that's bad. Okay, whatever. Our ruler is very bad at military skill and he still has no heir. What happens to me, I think I'll get a new dynasty or something. Dynasty, dynasty, dynasty. Okay, we can build some more mints, can we? No, we cannot. We can only build uh, counting houses. Counting house. So yeah, I guess I'll improve uh, this territory. These territories. I can improve these. Oh, it needs to build workshop first. Okay. I might consider improving these territories too. Later. We'll see. We'll see. Wait. What is? Wait a second. How much does it cost? Oh, I don't have enough admin power. Okay. Fine then. A fine adjustment. Yes, we have integrated. The miss. And now we have control over the oh, over the entirety of Italy. It is fucking awesome. So these armies, I already need them. Let's just destroy all of them. Okay, what's this one? I go away. What are you doing? What are you even doing there? Are you like on the ship or what? Archipelago frigate. Okay, I'll get rid of this fleet later then. I got some ban I got a bunch of free navies. What's this? Heavy frigate. Beautiful. Beautiful. Predicting our trade interests in Venice. With eighteen light ships. Good. Okay, what's this one? Galley's yeah, transports. Oh, uh, I guess we'll take this fleet. And uh, get it, to get them all to Rome and this fleet, and take it to Rome and this fleet, and take it to Rome. This fleet, take it to Rome. What are you doing? Protecting trade now in Alexandria. Protect Tunis. And you. No, you. Protect. I keep protecting Venice. So now we're making how much from this? 11.1. Beautiful. Beautiful. From trade we're now getting... Oh, I guess we're gonna wait until next month. Alright. Great. So now we shouldn't have... Uh, that many relationships. We still have Le Algiers as a vassal. Let's see if we can uh, annex it. No, we cannot. Ah, oh, fuck. I think it'll take too long. We'll see. Let's improve relations with them. No, I think we'll not, we're not going to make it until the end of the game. And we still will have to get some more core territories for them from Morocco. And Morocco are being flankers, allying themselves with France and Spain. 
That is not something to be expected. Okay, what's our new mission? Protect against... Repair... Nah, these are all bullshit. These are all bullshit. I'll just keep my mission like, on nothing for a while. Alright. Proceed. Okay. I am I'm pretty pretty much happy with the size of my empire. We got Italy, we got uh, everything the Byzantine Empire held, we got some African territory and we uh, finally get an heir. Beautiful. 1143. One, At least that's an heir. An heir is an heir. You are being annoying. What are you doing by the way, Holy Empire? You're fighting you're fighting you're fighting Golden Horde. Lol. Who are you allying to? Hungary. So I guess Holy Empire is attacked or is attacking Hungary. Let's check it. And looks like okay, defender against Bohemia, okay. Bohemian conquest of other Lausitz. Yeah, Hungary's getting raped. No big deal. We have won the Siege of Cairo. Beautiful. Let's move on. Let's move on to wiping out his entire army. Wipe it out. Wipe it out. Wipe it off the face of Earth. The treasure has died. Let's get. Uh, oh fuck! They're all they're all bad. Okay, let's get this one. And we still don't have a level three here. And the this level three sucks. We're making a lot of money from trade. We're, we're, we're making 98.5 revenue. Great. I am impressed. And I'm glad. We can get some mints. Let's get one. Counting houses. Counting house. Counting house. You get a counting house. You get a counting house. You, you get it. You get it. I'll leave this area unupgraded for a while. Well, let's give a couple of upgrades over here too. Over here, okay. This looks looks solid. It sh it was just my OCD. It looked kind of unclean. Now it looks quite solid, in my opinion. And what's this? It doesn't have a workshop. It doesn't even have a workshop. Really? No, oh, it has a constable though. Okay, so that's 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 good. Mm hmm. Uh, and treasuries, right? Treasuries. Treasuries. Let's build them over here and over here and over here. Okay, good. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Byzantium. We won the siege, yay! I hope we're gonna lose to these people. No, you won. Oh well. Be suffered from Mamluks. No. I will only accept full annexation from you. Bastards. Really? No way! Ah, oh, fuck my tits. Gain Grand Captain. Is he level 3? Grand Captain. He is level 3. Yay! Let's get him. Oh, I'll be right back. Phone. And I'm back. Okay. Let me sit down on my chair. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it! We only like four years until the in in until the end of this entire playthrough. Are you excited? I am. I want to see the final stats. You want access? Okay, you can have it. 
Yeah, you can rise up all the all you want. You can rise up all you want. Oh, I can't even get full annexation. What? This is their capital. We cannot demand their capital. Ah, oh, let's demand their capital. Oh, we cannot. Okay, so let's just demand this and that, and be like, okay, fine, good enough. Why did I not get it? I thought I'd get more. I thought I'd get this. Oh, wait, it's their capital. Okay. <laughs> they moved their capital from Cairo. I still thought it's in Cairo. Overextension is dangerously high. I don't care. Go away. 84%. Yeah, it's a little bit... It's a little bit high, but... lost our castle's belly. We lost our castle's belly. Castle's belly. Castle's belly. Castle's belly. Did we build... No, we did not build the counting house here. I missed Corfu. Now I feel bad. Okay, there are my ships. And you go, you, you die. Go, goodbye. Bye, you, you don't, you don't goofed. Uh, take all the trade ships out. How do I do this? That's how you do it. And protect trade in... Let's see, are we contesting anyone in Venice? Yeah, we are. But, nah, whatever. Let's protect trade... In Persia? Can we do it in Persia? I don't think we can do this in Gulf of Aden. Hmm. I actually can. Three three eight three eight three twenty eight away from our closest core province. We can protect it. Now let's protect Alexandria. Whatever. It's not that important. Is it? It isn't. Mm-hmm. Keep converting. Keep converting. Convert it like it's hot. Okay, that was bad, sorry. To lose Byzantium. I live in... I live in do a fuck you and convert the culture in here. It's gonna be one Greek, cul Greek culture province in this area. The only Greek culture province in this area. It is an enclave, actually. It has no connection to me by water, so... Oh, of course, I wanted to give um, this to... Denmark. Do you want it? Yes, please take it. You'll thank me later. Oh, fuck. I have to actually kill the rebels there first. I can't even get there. I'm not using my transports. That sucks. That sucks. Okay, let's use transports. Oh, boo. Just get it. That doesn't matter that there are some rebels there, it's just, it's just fine. It's just fine. Increased quality. Yes, increased quality. Scotland is a dominant force in the British Isles. It always does that. Aquitaine Patriots. Nationalism. Discontent. Reform tensions. Or extension plus four. Hmm. So we actually had some dangers there. Okay, where is my fleet that is transferring some troops? 
There you are. Okay, make a little stop over here in Girona. We'll help with Cat Catalonia with their peasants on the way. And also, like, just, you know, casually smite these fools. Perhaps a policy change is in order. Perhaps. Perhaps. Perhaps! Oh, boo. We lost the siege, whatever. Converted Suakin. We can build some more stuff, because I have a... I have loads of money. Apparently. Treasuries. Treasuries everywhere. Build more treasuries. Need counting house there, really? Yeah, we do. Okay, fine. We're making so much money, it's insane. <laughs> Playing on speed on speed five because I can. It's not like I have to pay close attention to a Seek a diplomatic solution. Relations with France is are useful. That's what I need. Send them an alliance offer. Yeah, we have the royal marriage there. Good. Aman has left the military coalition. Good. Will I make manage to? Why do I have this? I have man will I manage to find another wall with you? Piece of shit. Nah, that's so close. One year. Nah, I'll just break a truce. Whatever, I'll just have to break a truce. Breaking truce, no cusses belly. Let's fabricate a claim there. It'll take a little while. I wanna just I just wanna be done with this stupid thing. Restoration of Union. Oh, our, our leader died, I think. Regency! And restoration of Union with Catalonia. And while we have it, Regency Council, we cannot start any wars. Beautiful. Okay, let's guarantee them. Built them worthy enough to have their guarantee, independence guarantee by us. Beautiful. For how long? H3! Are you serious? Are you bloody serious right now? And I get a Regency Consul with skills 002. <sighs> and Catalonia, the first thing it does, it enters the coalition against us. Nothing I can do about it. Fuck me, really? At least Denmark is loyal. Denmark will never leave a personal union with... you bloody serious. Are you in the coalition too? Let's see who joins. Oh way, fuck. I have some troops being transported. Let's dock this this in Calais then. I don't want them to get caught. If Holland Empire doesn't join this war, this is fucking easy mode for us. Oh, I cannot make it through. Fuck. This sucks. Aquitaine Patriots, yay! 
Oh my. These fools. This is not gonna be Aquitaine soon. Or not soon, because I'll never actually manage to finish the conversion before the game ends, right? Yep, 1823. We have again the Casas... Con conquest Casas Belly. But we cannot actually declare war right now because we're a stupid Regency Council. Uh, that sucks. That is really bad. At least we're winning this war. I demand you concede defeat. What f what fun things can I do to you anyway? I can force you like to return some course to USA, but they're screwed anyway. Ah, uh, with Goron. Oh yes, that will help you. That's gonna help, isn't it? Let's build some stuff. Uh, treasury? Yes, please. Um, what else? Mint. I can even build us some stock exchanges. One stock exchange, exactly. Alright, looks good. Making money. You can even raise war taxes for even more money. Yes. I'm fighting Spain for this, right? Yeah, all <laughs> Roman Empire didn't didn't bother itself to join. That's a good sign, isn't it? Ah, oh, I cannot pass through Catalonia lanes because they're no longer there for seeing you with us. Oh well, whatever. We're about to win. Just concede defeat to me or something. You're, you're not gonna win this war, obviously. Where are these battles even happening? Blockade, battle, Cote de Jean, Gascoigne, Ulster, Coast of Brittany. There is all naval battles. Battle of Le Bourg. Gien. LOL Gascoigne spawned! Gascoigne actually spawned and it's, an, uh, it's a vassal. LOL! It's a, va it's a vassal of Spain. Wow. That is funny. That's funny as balls. Find the to convert the heretics of Cairo. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, threatening our trade, whatever. Tell me something else. Can I declare any wars? This uh, not ha not being able to declare wars sucks. I c I could make a break here, but considering it's 18th January of 1819, and uh, the game is just gonna end soon, I won't I won't even bother myself doing that. Come on, you're screwed. You shouldn't even declare this war in the first place. Can build mints. Could even build redutes. Where? Where can I build a redute? Oh, here in Cairo. Okay. You're you're trying to defend it, huh? Okay, I can build some mints. More mints. I was meant for mints. Sorry, that was bad. Enemy for enemy. Yemen. And Portugal. Pfeh. Pfeh. Like I care. They're in a coalition against me, so why should I bother? Presenting. Oh, it's a war against Norve Norway, so maybe I should like do something in Norway then. Yeah, I have I have a fleet station there, so. No, wait, it's a war against 
Spain. God damn it, I was like, oh, it's a Norwegian war. Then I, should, then I guess I'm fighting Norway. No. You're fighting Spain. The leader of the war is Spain. <clears throat> Come on, Spain, you're screwed. Go away. Go away already. Peace out, some allies. Oh no, that these are vassals. This is a vassal, this is a coalition. This is a coalition, this is an ally, I guess. But he won't do shit. <laughs> He won't do shit. Can build another mint. Let's do it. I'm sure we have enough men anyway. Oh, hello there, 52 men stack. Want to meet another 22 men stack? Oh, 52 men stack? Why, how am I winning so fast? You have like no morale. <laughs> You're so weak. The Conquista plus 5%. Yeah! So good! <laughs> prestige minus eight. You have negative, pre negative 91 prestige. Wow. Spain is a noble republic. <laughs> they lost the rebellion and have like minus 90 prestige now. And then they declare a war on us. Uh, for real, Spain. For reals. Yours, I'm not even gonna take anything from you. Well, maybe some money. Let's have some money from you. <laughs> I despise you, Spain. You're just like the saddest person ever. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Let's gift this province to Denmark. Yay, Denmark is consolidated now. Goodbye, goodbye Denmark. Look at you go. We're making 72 gold per month. Or ducats. Or gold. I prefer gold. Gold. Greed is good and gold is better. How much, how much does it cost? 207? I can build like two more of these. I thought they cost uh, 400. But it's the second level that costs 400. Okay, where are my troops? Are they, are they there, there yet? Are they there yet? They are there yet. Where are my fleets? There they are. Get to, get to ships. Revolt and Sinai. I have men there. I'll deal with it in a second. Alright, I don't actually remember if the game ends, like, in, uh, eight days? Oh, no, 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 load, no. Game. Back. Save game. Is what I meant. End. Or is it? So we still have one whole year. Okay. So I guess how I can delete this save now. Can I delete it from here? No, I cannot. I just have two to end. It it's okay. It's sad that I have to end the game with 84% overextension, but okay, I guess. Then it all is gonna be some useless ideas for my navy. They are useless. Be recover Lombardia. Complete the restoration of Italy to the Empire. Liguria, Lombardia, Parma, Brescia, Mantua, Cremona. Liguria, Lombardia. Liguria, Lombardia. Cremona, Brescia, Mantua, Parma. This area. Hmm. 
I cannot declare wars anyway, and I have one year left, so I guess okay, I failed in reconquering the empire, but okay, oh well, it happens. At least my borders are content contiguous and uh, continues, and uh, I am the strongest power there is in the world. The end. Let's actually check our score. Oh no, I'll ha I'll get my score in the end. Mm hmm. Create a fortress in Gafsa. I don't know. No, that's no. I don't need it. Now let's check score over time. That no score comparison. Where is it? Is it is this in the country? Score score comparison. Highest score? Highest... Oh, th okay, there it is. This month. Okay, so... Scotland's actually on par with me, but... Apart from Scotland, I am gaining the most score in the game. Per month. And I will... Be first. Real soon. Like, sometime in the future. A major power to see... Per se. <clears throat> oh, and I. Oh, I may. I am paying my fleets. I'm. What am I? What am I smoking? All right. I guess we end up building a lot of improvements in our lands, and uh, all is good. In the kingdom, in the empire. All right. We're getting closer to the end. I'll pause the game and uh, December 31. Really? Come on, deal with them. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. There it is. Okay, thirty-one. December 31st of 1820 which is the end of the Byzantine uh, which is the end of the European Universalis 4 alright uh, there goes the run with Byzantium remember we started off having this and this nothing else surrounded by Ottomans we managed to succeed and retake what's rightfully ours. I uh, did not colonize this game. I did not go for a colonizing route. For a couple of reasons. For uh, first and the main reason because I don't really want to be. I don't really didn't really want to be late for the colonization race. The second reason is that. Uh, I wanted to reclaim the lands that which are rightfully mine, which are rightfully imperial lands, and that to do that I had to not go for a colonization. I think. I think. I think. In my opinion, I might have gone for a colonization and still gotten this land, but I'm not sure. I wasn't sure at the time. So that's that. We got almost everything I want. I needed. I wanted. Pity that I got regions of council and couldn't declare war on the Mamluks and I would. So this is our, our, our extension, this is our extended land. Not called. We have a claim, we're ready to start a war. We are ju we just don't have um we just have regency, we cannot declare wars. And regency will last for a long fucking time. I would just annex the Mamluks and then create them create the vassal Mamluk and Mamluks and be like Okay, there's Bam looks, they're my vassal, they're mine. This is our diplomatic diplomacy. We were buddies, we we're best friends with Russia for the longest time. And Scotland was a long a uh, long time ally. France was a long time ally, Burgundy was a long time ally. Catalonia is a bitch. Denmark suddenly falls under the personal union with us. Algiers is our vassal. We still cl could can could claim some territories from Morocco, but I was scared to declare war in Morocco because they are allies to Spain. 
Um, let, uh, let's see how, it, how it's going in Americas. Scotland is colonizing. Good. Go, go, Scotland. England. Portugal is there. Portugal, England, France, nothing really special. Portugal, Portugal, Venezuela, USA spawned, but it's too fucking small to do anything. Brittany, Huron, England, Burgundy, Huron is still there. Why did nobody kill Huron? Is my question. Quebec is there. It's a constitutional republic. There's, they're crawling back up in tech. What's this? Canada. Canada considers this one of the core provinces. That's, that's kind of cute. Mm. As far as Caribbeans go, nothing really special. France, Spain, Portugal, usual names. Upka is surprisingly doing good. They're pretty big. Venezuela, Mexico, Mexico is there. So there is that. Mexico is actually level tw 32. Venezuela is only level 12, so I guess Mexico could possibly dominate this area. Portugal is level 32. So everyone's level 32 and I'm level 31. I'm, I feel sad now. Yeah, I could go for that, but I just derp. I derped. I want. I take. I took an idea. Yeah, I took an idea in the end. I could have gotten tech 32. Well, it's no big deal. Our tech gain is good enough, so we could uh, have gotten that a little bit late, but no, nonetheless, it was it would be useful. Chile is big and scary because they're all 30. I think they're gonna be dominating this region. Brazil is good as well. Brazil and Chile are gonna be rivals here. Um, nothing much. Nothing much happens in Africa apart from the from it being different colored because Spain, France, Burgundy, and Spain, France, Burgundy, England. So Swahili is still there, surprisingly. They're allies with Portugal. If I was Portugal, I would never make this alliance. Oman, Khorasan, Sindh, uh, Asia is kind of okay. Malwaf got a lot of land, but never created Hindustan. That's interesting. Maybe they didn't have their territories they needed. Russia is fighting Brunei over here. As far as I've, as far as I've seen. Russia will always try to take on Brunei, or almost always. I'm surprised it did not just annex Brunei completely, and didn't j instead of just they just took a couple provinces from them. I'm not sure. Japan is still there. They have a bunch of territories. They have the entirety of Manchu. No, these these territories I think are also part of Manchu at the start of the game. I might be mistaken, don't count on me. Korea is still there. Japan, Kazakh, Mongol Khanate. Ming. Ming is there. Ming is always there. Russia, colonizing Taiwan. Good. Go, go, Russia. What's Riku? How's Riku doing? Oh. So it's, an, it's now Okinawa district. Oh well. Are these even colonized? Yeah, they are. By France. Yay! Go France. Spain colonizing Australia. These islands are Spanish by the looks of it. And Portuguese. Spain, Portuguese. Um, Russia is a weak bastard because uh, if I was playing as Russia, I would just fucking killed all of these bastards. No matter that they are like all in the coalition and shit. I'll just... I would just stake them all. I would then create a vassals out of them and then annex them and just... It might be even possible to take entire Asia as Russia. I'm not sure. I had never played as Russia. I mean, no, at least that long. I didn't even create Russia. It was, I played as Muscovy once. And uh, that was a little bit too boring for my taste. And I, and I had Byzantium going, so... Anyway, let's see the ledger. Maybe there is some interesting stuff there. Country, well, of course. Uh, we are the best. I and Holy Empire are the best. Holy Empire has more income. Let's see who had the most income. He had the most income. He had the most inflation as well. He had the most treasury as well. Ah well. He had more manpower. I was quickly catching up with them. He's not expanding, I was expanding a lot. 
And I still have a lot of room to expand, to be honest. Russia is third place. They were f f in the third place for for the longest time ever. Netherlands are surprisingly taking the fourth place in income. Hmm. Who had the most inflation? Just a little. So I really had. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Technologies. Münster. Münster was technology leader. Surprisingly, they had almost everything in level 32. We were not technology leader, obviously. Who had the most ideas unlocked? Münster had. Münster was like the most tech, the most ideas, because they didn't really have to spend their points elsewhere. Score comparison, of course. Oh, Russia is actually in the first place now. Look at you. Wow. Go, Russia. Good luck. Uh, nations technology. No, nah, not interested. I was the defender of the faith. Catholic is the dominant religion. Orthodox and Sunni sharing the second place. Reformed and Protestant kind of there. And all these petty religions. I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone by saying petty, but let's just look at it. 30, 30 provinces, 31, 30. 79 was well, kind of impressive, a little bit. Not in comparison to 30, 232. Confucian, 30, almost roughly. 17. One shamanist territory, I wonder what that was. I think that was one of the uncolonized territories. Hmm. France overview, that's boring. Colonies, advisors. We oh, yeah, had no colonies. <laughs> advisors, meh. Whatever. Best leader in the world. I'm actually. Okay, so my leader was the best, I think. Yeah, he was the best leader in the world. I had two players, uh, two, two leaders who were top three best leaders. Horn Empires, I don't care. Previous rulers. I don't care. Buildings over you. Huh. Head March. Somewhere. Where did, where did I have March? I forgot. In Kaffa. Oh, it was like the... Um, uh, the Crimean province, I remember now. Buildings, manufacturing. Buildings, government. Buildings, army. Buildings and navy. What's next? What does Ken build next? Not sure. Buildings, 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 armies. Let's see who had the most, the biggest army. Ah, oh, Holy Empire. He had four, almost four hundred troops, four hundred thousand troops. That is quite impressive, to say the least. Uh, but he's paying a lots of money for them, obviously. I'm even curious who had the most navy. Scotland did. Go Scotland. Hmm, nation armies. Hmm. Oh, uh, these are my armies, okay. Nation navies, army regiments, ships, you can come over you. Excuse me? They're, they, all of them have different stats? All of them have different stats? Oh, eh, uh, if that's because they're different type. If we sort by type, we'll see. Yeah, all of them have the same stats. Ships, income over you. Percent of total, huh. We had most income from our production. Uh-huh, okay. Inflation, whatever. We had like, bleep. <laughs> nope. Right. The great inflation boom of 1805. <laughs> uh, charts, pie charts. We had 100% religious uh, consolidation, not core 0.5%. We could get rid of that in the future. Technology over you, cost over you, loans, great notes, straight goods, straight goods, good locations, relations. This is all. This is all boring. Coalitions against Byzantium. I had the biggest coalition. I had the biggest coalition there is. Mali was in the coalition. <laughs> I'm surprised. Chile, Japan, Horasan, Nogayaman, whatever. 
Restoration of Union. Huh. Had the Restoration of Union. Oh, of course I did. Yeah. I remember that. I don't think I'll be, I would be ever able to declare war on that Casabili, though, because um, pr uh, Regency will la would last longer. Current wars... Not interested. And there's the ledger, ledger Index. Okay, so there's that. Let's unpause. There's the end. All right. Byzantium. That is Byzantium. Hmm, we had the third largest army, third largest navy, second most provinces, second highest province valley, second highest income, eighth highest trade income. Pretty good results. Still did uh, a little bit on the low side of things. I'm not that experienced with the game yet, sir. And considering the start, this is pretty impressive, I think. That's interesting stuff right here. If I ever want to read this, I will. Oh, I want to find... Where is this battle? Where was this battle? There was an awesome, awesome battle. Reconquest of Altinia. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Histor the unsuccessful Hungarian Byzantine punitive war lasted for two years. Historians talk about how Imperial fought Byzantine in the Battle of Tyrol, led by the Imperial Alexander X, lost most of their forces fighting the 251,490 men strong Byzantine army, led by Philippe VIII, who suffered some losses. Eh. Uh, that is, that sounds not as impressive as it was. Well, whatever. So yeah, there goes Byzantium. Uh, quit. Um, that's the best tech I've ever seen. Tech. And that is it. End of Byzantium playthrough. Next time we'll be playing Serbia because a lot of people asked for that, and I guess that's a lot of people subscribed for. Uh, I will be using the results of the straw poll. Last time I checked, people were, wanted me to start from the 1444 start. So I think I'll do that. We'll see. I'll... Uh, yeah, probably I will do that. So yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. This is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye.